Okay, looks like everything's good to go of room vroom. Uh, what are we learning about today? We are learning about girlfriends today. Yes, yes, I know. Uh, Carol, uh-oh, uh-oh. With a tier one, 13 months. Starting off strong, starting off strong. How is everyone today? I know it's been a while, it's been a while, but we are indeed having a class today. A full-fledged, true, honest-to-goodness lecture. Uh, Spazbot, hello, uh, New Bunny Times. I'm seeing a lot of new chatters. Froggy, uh, Java, uh, Captain, wow, wow, a lot of, a lot of first-time students. Well. Thank you for making your way to class. Today's actually one of the few days where we actually have something lined up for everyone. Um, a dark uh, Creaker, thank you so much for the Prime. Three months now, three months. That's the first time I've seen, you know, since the new wave of students been coming in. Uh, thank you so much for that. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, yes, Zex, Girlfriends 101 is indeed today. Drunken Bar Fight, thank you for the Prime. Thank you, everyone. I hope that the weekend has gone okay for all of you students. Uh, Sama Slama Jamma, thank you for the Prime. Uh, thank you for the hype train, everyone. Uh, Soya, new student here, welcome in. Uh, the Real Fresh Boy. Professor, why am I still a virgin? I think we're going to find out today. I think you've been finding out for your entire life. But maybe maybe we can answer that question today. Uh, we're going to wait for a few students to trickle on in. So go ahead and take a seat. Go ahead and sit next to whoever you want. You know, some, some, some teachers, they, they have assigned seating. Uh, I like to have a more casual experience here. I don't want you to feel, you know, uptight. Right. So go ahead and take a seat. We're going to wait for the students to come on in. I have a few things to go over, you know, much like I'm sure all your professors and teachers do. Hey, hey, Bay. Thank you for tuning in. Yukina, hello. Girlfriend 101, indeed. Indeed. Uh, Kyonko Chan, Professor, can you technically see your own Zetai Ryuki or is it something you can only see other people wear? I don't know what you're talking about, but I do see you're in dire need of this lecture today. Um, so what's been going on? What has been going on? Well, um, first and okay, so this is, I was, I was worried about this. I was worried about this. Yes, yes, this, this, this was happening before. I thought that we would just YOLO it and see what happens, but I guess we can't. I guess, I guess we can't. I guess we are going to have to do this. Okay. Okay. I risked the, risk the biscuit. I know. I know. I know. Uh, ah, that's unfortunate. Okay. 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 I, have okay. I have to get it. So, so what, 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 what basically it amounts, it amounts to, to. There we go. There we go. Okay, so basically what it amounts to is that my camera, my main camera is, has been dying on me. It's happened a few times past few streams, so yeah, it's unfortunate, but I do think it's time for me to get a new uh, main camera. But I planned ahead. See, you didn't think 
I'm, I'm always on time. I'm always planning ahead for situations like this, but we're okay. We're okay. It does suck. I gotta get, I gotta get a new camera. That sucks. I've been, I, oh man, I've been using this camera forever. Unfortunate. Also, I don't know. I, I might just have too much stuff. If you saw my POV, it'd be like, it's like Cyberpunk 2077. There's so much stuff. Maybe I just have too much stuff plugged in the computer. Train, five gifted subs. Really coming in with those scholarships. I appreciate that train. Train, you're always so kind. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, yeah. We'll, uh, give it, we'll still give it a few minutes. Uh, again, May, thank you for the 100 bits. Um, I saw Spider-Man. Really good. Go see that ASAP. Really good. Um, so today we are going to go over, you know what? Where's my marker? Huh. I'm sad. I got a new setup here and everything. I don't get to show it off, but some of you saw it earlier. Oh my goodness, what's going on? Bearded helmet, gifted tier one. Thank you. Thank you, bearded helmet. Oh my goodness. Is that the Stakuyi? I, I'm afraid, I, am I saying that right? I said it before. My favorite history buff coming in with the raid. I appreciate that. Welcome in students. Uh, the knowledge is gonna keep on going. Um, might be a little different from the material you're usually familiar with. So, um, Merry Christmas. Yes, Happy Holidays. Merry Christmas, everyone. Um, art contest. Our art contest on Twitter. Three more days. It's December 20th, ends on the 23rd. Your chance to win some free merchandise. Uh, not free, I mean, you gotta, you know, in exchange for you to participate in the art contest, but only three days left on that, all right? Remember, use the, has use the hashtag GoCapOys on Twitter. Mention the, the contest in your caption. We're picking first, second, and third place. You have some, you, your chances are pretty good. I'll be honest, your chances are pretty good. Mm. So, students, here's a thought. What if I started wearing glasses like this? What if this was my look from now on? Thoughts? No? Man, you guys are, you guys are harsh. Anyways, anyways, yes, don't forget to uh, enter that art contest. Death McCloud. Thank you for the tier one. Two months, two months. Welcome back. Uh, Shadow Wolf with the tier one. Three months as well. Um, Dade Per, two months. Uh, it's been two months already. Sheesh, that, that's a sheesh from me as well. Thank you for that. So after the lecture today, again, Girlfriends 101. Wait, <laughs> chat, do you know what these are? What do I have in my hands? What is this? Indeed. We have three new booster packs. Boxes, packs, boxes, not a box, a booster box, booster pack of the new set from Japan, VMAX Climax. I ordered these, okay? And listen, uh, Plasma Oxy has been our channel point champion of 2021, but End of the year, this might be your last chance to rack up some prediction points. In case, students, if you're unfamiliar, 
You can earn channel points simply by watching the stream. It's uh, down at the bottom left of the chat. And uh, we do a little things called uh, prediction here. You can bet your points, sorry, predict using your channel points one way or the other. And usually when I open cards on stream, you have the chance to bet, will I pull the chase cards or will I not? AKA, are you a believer or are you a doubter? We have three packs. Uh, I think it's 11 packs each, 33 packs. Uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to crack these bad boys open. Sleepy Wizard, two months. Welcome back. Welcome back, Sleepy Wizard. Um, so we do, we do in fact have a lecture planned, but it'll probably be a, a little shorter. Um, shit's just been happening, you know, you know how it goes. I don't got to tell you students. I know life comes at us fast. Sometimes shit happens, uh, professor as well, dealing with some stuff. So haven't been able to prepare as much. That is also why our schedule has been a little, um, uprooted. You could say I'm doing fine. I wouldn't be streaming if I wasn't Mastastic. I appreciate that. But, uh, just, just, just a little caveat going into the, the, um, new year. Um, I have some stuff planned. I'm very excited to show you guys. Um, ah, I, I don't want to hype it up too much, but I'm, I'm excited. Uh, actually I can announce the date. January 8th is going to be a very special stream. January 8th. Uh, we've been prepping. Uh, uh, we've been prepping a little show for you guys uh, on the 8th. Oh, that's going to be fun. Oh, um, so what's, it, you know, it's been a while. It's been a while, students. I had very, very cool opportunity. What was it? Two days ago, three days ago. Um, I was able to go on disguised toasts, uh, 48 hour stream, um, a few days ago. And that was very cool. Uh, disguised toast. Uh, what, uh, he's been doing is at night when he goes to bed, he leaves the stream open toast radio and, uh, invites some other people to come on and, kind of just chat sort of like a podcast. And I, um, was very lucky to be invited. So that was really cool. That was really cool. The uh, good old professors moving up, uh, students, huh? Uh, Ligma university. We're making moves, huh? That was, it was very cool. And I, uh, was able to meet some very cool people. I met, uh, Wee Vern and Scooch. Very cool dudes. Uh, Evan, yo, do you, I see you. Three months. Appreciate it, Evan. Yes, we are in a different classroom. Uh, we've put together a... Sorry, I was going to say we put together a set, but this is no set. This is simply my classroom. So this is going to be a very fun time. Uh, part of this new, new classroom is in preparation for January 8th. We got a little something going on. Uh, no homework. No homework. Uh, like I said, life has been coming at us and uh, I've been a little caught up trying to catch up with, you know, how it goes, you know, how it goes, everyone, um, yeah, family and whatnot. It's, uh, uh, give me, give me a little bit to, uh, catch my breath, catch up here. I'm finally here giving a lecture at the very least. It, it, it's been a while. I know I've been putting it off and off, but, but everything's good. I just, uh, yeah, you know how it is. Shit happens, right? Uh, just very succinctly, very simply, shit happens, right? But chug on through, deal with it. There's um, my mother, I am half Korean, and there's, uh, there's like a Korean word, Korean phrase that she'd always tell me. Um, it's, like it's, it's, it's what it is, is it's chamo, right? Chamo. And what it is is, you know, students, if you're going through something or, or shit happens, just chamo. What, what that means is you just deal with it. I know it, it kind of, it's kind of a depressing thing, but 
deal with it like, you know, there's no promise of it getting better. There's no promise that everything is for the best. But sometimes you just fuck, you just, <clears throat> you just suck it up and you just, you just, you just chamo. It's like, it's like using Harden in Pokemon. You just, okay, brace for impact. Boom. Okay. And you just keep going. There's no, you didn't come out a better man. You didn't come out like, oh, I learned a valuable lesson. You just, ah, I just got shit on. But you just keep going. You just keep going, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. Anyways. Is that it? Yeah, yeah, I think that's it. Man, going on, to I was actually, I was about to go to bed and then I got the DM. What is this? I'm literally naked in my bathroom. All right? I'm naked in my bathroom. I just check my phone randomly. Boom! Oh, uh-oh. Toast? I got dressed out of my computer and it was fun. It was fun. Very thankful for the opportunity. I, do, I will say, I don't know if I'll get invited back anytime soon. If Toast happens to go, I don't think, unless someone ratted me out, I don't think, I don't think Toast went through and like watched through the VOD because that would be crazy. That would be, you know, but if he did, I don't know. I just hope that he was just like, oh, well, I'm sure it went fine and just went on. They did the OTV Valorant tournament. I'm hoping. I talked about some interesting stuff. Anywho. Anywho. Okay. I think that's, that's about, I think we're good. I think it's about time to get class started here. Man, I'm so bummed that my camera died. Oh man, I have to, I have to get a new one. Evan, are you in here? What well, camera? I, I know you were you were kind of <laughs> you were kind of nays you're a Canon naysayer. What what are you on? Sony? G7 something? I'm in I'm in the market. Nikon. Okay, I don't know if I can do Nikon. I don't know if I don't know if I can do Nikon. Gravy. Three months. Thank you for the tier one. Welcome back. Archangel live in two months. Uh, welcome back, everyone. So. Uh, um, you know what? I was told that possibly. Okay, I think that's gonna be good. Sorry, we're testing out a new setup, new camera. Is this good? Is this good? Am I in focus? Oh, my most valuable asset's a little cropped. I know, dang it. Dang, it. gonna have to, you know what? You know what? What are we doing here? I need the money maker in frame. Ah, this is better. This is better. That's gonna have to. That's gonna have to. That's gonna have to make do. We're just gonna have to make do, huh? Okay. So, you know what the question is? What are we talking about today? Well, as you can see. The title of today's lecture is Girlfriends 101. Uh, and uh, it's come to my attention that, the, um, you know, we, we cover a lot of topics here in class. Furries, anime, furries again, Pokemon, back to the furries. However, um, you know, there, there's probably a crossover, an intersection. Some students are familiar with this. 
while some other students are more familiar with this subject. And we do a lot of crossover here. Not everyone knows everything. However, today's lecture is very different because I know for a fact this is something that maybe 99% of you have no idea anything about, have had no experience with this. So this, this is why this lecture in particular is a very special one. Um, because like I said, some other lectures are usually review for some of you students, but this is, this is a rare case where this is completely new material. So make sure to pay attention. Um, if you are a girlfriend, you're <clears throat> if you are yourself, consider yourself a girlfriend, uh, don't think you're off the cuff. Is that even the right saying? Is that what people say, off the cuff? Don't think you're off the... Don't think you're getting off scot-free. There's some valuable information. Off the hook. Off, off the hook. Don't think you're off the hook here because there's, there's some valuable information you need, to, you need to hear too. Okay. So, question is, you know, we, we always start every single one of our lectures here. What is a girlfriend, right? Girlfriend, what, what, is, what, what is that? You might be somewhat familiar with the term, but like, you know, you know what the moon looks like, but have you ever been to the moon? No, you know, could you really say you know what the moon is? You just believe what other people tell you about the moon. Right? You've never stepped on the moon. You've seen pictures that other people have taken of the moon. And you just believe it. Very much is the case with girlfriends. So, what is a girlfriend? Alright, pay attention. Alright, this is... A girlfriend is a female friend, acquaintance, or partner with whom one is platonically, romantically, physically, spiritually involved with in a romantic context. This normally signifies a committed relationship uh, where individuals are not married. Uh, other titles um, other words that may be used in place or in junction with girlfriend is partner, lover, and many more things. Either way, either way. I think it's important to note that you know, we get a lot of, uh, I've been getting a lot of uh, questions. Are we going to talk about boyfriends? Yes. Well, I, okay, here's what I'll say. Um, I, I want to state that I just gave you the classical interpretation of a girlfriend being a female friend, uh, companion, you know, romantic, physical, whatnot. But it's 2021. The context has changed. Technology has changed. And in the context of my lesson, my lecture, when I refer to a girlfriend, I am referring to, very important here, the essence of a girlfriend. Not bound by gender, either boy or girl. When we talk about girlfriends in the context of my class, I really want to stress that it is the amorphous role of a girlfriend. There is a role that one partner can fill that can be generally said, generally fit into this, this broad term of girlfriend, right? What do we talk about? Uh, well, what do I mean by that? I, you know, I mean that a girlfriend is a partner that has a very few but very specific 
pack of traits. So is, is that clear? Is that clear what I'm talking about here? Not girl or boy. You do not need to be a girl to be a girlfriend. And just because you are a boy doesn't mean you cannot be a girlfriend. Does that make sense? I mean, if you've been tuning into my lectures, I think that's readily, readily apparent. Oh, oh yeah. So uh, we talk about traits, traits of a girlfriend. You know, you say, For Professor Lando, tr you know, you talk about the role of a girlfriend. What exactly are you talking about? Well, let's, let's, let's get into that. So, I, you know, me personally, I, we can start with these two, physical, spiritual. Again, we're talking about traits that a girlfriend would have, that someone who is in the role of a girlfriend demonstrates. And again, this is just, again, we're, we're talking about this for the sake of explaining to 99% of Twitch chat that has never been familiar with what a girlfriend is. Now, physical, um, what are we talking about here? Now, um, many of you have never heard or participated in this act. It is an act, a physical act. Cuddles, cuddles. Uh, what are we talking about? Cuddle, cuddles, cuddles, what is that? You might be asking. Well, a cuddle is sort of this act, um, you know, The layman, the layman might simply think of a cuddle as maybe, ooh, whoa, whoa, I need, a, I need a better place for this. You might think of it simply as like a, 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 a hug, maybe a more involved hug. Nay, it is beyond your comprehension for those of you who do not have previous knowledge of what a girl friend is. So cuddling, uh, you know, a very, you know, I guess just, just because we need some base or some foundation to work off of that you are able to relate to, we can say that. Let, let's just say that for the sake of this discussion that a cuddle is a more involved hug. You know, but, but for most people, a hug is just not simply enough. A cuddle specifically, it's, you know, it, 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 it's so almost sort of like a detoxification process. When you hug someone, it's just like, all right, bro, I'll see you later. You know, your, your best friend. All right, that was good. Yeah, it was a good movie. See ya. You know, hug. Oh, it's been, it's been a while. It's been a while. Come here. Hug, right? You know, you might do this, like, like a little, you know, like this kind of action. But, but a, a cuddle is, a, is, a, is way more of a of a physical, it's, it's, it's like when your shoulders, you go through life and life is just, it shits on you, life is so hard, you, family problems and people bothering you with shit, work sucks and you're just like this all the time, just, uh, and then you, you know, a hug, at the, this, this thing here, a hug is not going to solve this, hey bro, want a hug, sure, yeah, that was fucking great, what is that, there? but a cuddle, it helps, like Michelangelo sculpting David, it, it, it lets you go, oh, right? It, it helps alleviate. It's, you think of a cuddle as a more involved hug that activates some sort of relief of pressure, right? Might seem all roses might seem all nice. You might think, oh, you know, some of you in the, in the chat right now, I can tell by your username that you have not ever had one of these girl friend. 
you might think, oh, I want that, I want that. That sounds nice. I think, you know, and I think that's the root of it. A lot of the whole idea conceptually of a girlfriend that is, has gripped society is that that sounds nice. That sounds nice. But a girlfriend, it's never enough. You cuddle one night. Okay, we got the cuddling down. We had a nice little sesh, call it a sesh. But it doesn't matter if you cuddled the day before. It doesn't matter if you cuddled that morning. She needs cuddles now. Doesn't matter if we cuddled the day. We've, we've seen each other, especially with COVID, we've seen each other every day for the past two years. Or since we started dating, every day. I, we cuddled yesterday. We cuddled yesterday night, yesterday morning, the night before, the morning before, and the day before that. We're gonna cuddle tonight. We're gonna cuddle tomorrow morning. We're gonna cuddle probably throughout the day, multiple times. There's cuddling happen here, and cuddling happen there, but it's never enough. Nay, it isn't enough because if they don't get their cuddles, it's, it's, there's this, you know, me as a normal person, I have needs, right? I, I, I have, I, I need to have fun. Uh, I, I, I need to eat, you know, I, I, I need shelter. I, I need to pursue happiness, right? I, I need Pokemon cards, you know? But the, the girlfriend has this, this, it's scary. It's scary, this, 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 this pitch, this pit right here. Never, this void that no matter how much, how much, it's never enough, never enough. And if, if you're unable, there's not enough resources in the world to fill this, this hole. And if, Heaven forbid you just need to, you know, you need to work on something. You need to work on something just, you know, I got work to do. Heaven forbid you get, you get, you get the angry, you get the sass. Ugh. So that, that's part one, physical. Uh, spiritual, mental, I don't know. I don't, I'm not exactly sure what to call this, this aspect. Uh, you know, for the, for the uh, uh, sake of this, this class, I decided to go with the term spiritual. I think uh, mentality could be possibly a, a good way to describe this next category. What are we talking about there? Um, so, uh, well, you know, I, I think it's, it's hard to, some things, they're, they're so... The concept of it, the, the, the way you would explain it to someone, is so convoluted that the best way to to describe it is simply with examples, right? Like you say, you say like, oh, you know, what is a, I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. Anyways, let's do an example, spiritual, mental. I saw Spider-Man. No spoilers, don't worry, no spoilers. I saw Spider-Man yesterday, okay? Any movie. This is, this is something you need to, oh, here's the thing. Are you a big Marvel fan? Are you a big Marvel fan? Are you a big DC fan? Do you like movies? Do you like going to the movies? You like enjoying? You like sitting down and enjoy? You like watching the movie? Well, that's about to change. Because, let me tell you, be prepared while you're watching to be asked, What's going on? Who is that? Why are they doing that? Why, why, why are they doing the thing? I don't know. Let's watch and find out. I'm watching it the same time you are. I don't know. Let's find out what's going to happen by watching the movie in silence. Okay? I don't know what's happening. That's, that's the point. You watch, you don't know what happens, and things happen, and you watch, and you sense eyes, brain, and then you come, oh, you understand as it progresses, and yes, 
50% of the movie has gone by, but there's still 50% left. You don't need to understand the full movie when you haven't seen it all. Or, you know, there, see these things right here. Uh, part of the movie, uh, you know, I should write this down. Uh, if you, you know, I'm, I don't, I like to think of myself as, uh, if I had to categorize myself, you know, I don't like to because I, I consider my class a holistic approach to, to every topic you can think of, but if I had to say, I would consider myself more of a social science teacher, perhaps social studies. I'm not a biology teacher, but uh, we can go over some simple anatomy. You see this? You see this? Uh, one of the key things, you know, you go to a movie, there's certain, there certain things about going to the movie. Uh, one very important one is being able to hear the movie. If it's not this, it's, you know, something, there's a dramatic moment, whether it's Netflix or in the theater, watching Netflix in the theater, for some reason, every dramatic moment, whether it's sad or, or tense, it's, 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 it's like the bag is like 50 gallons. You can't find the, just where, where, maybe there's no more. Have you thought of that? If there's not more, then just stop. So movie going experiences are definitely one unforeseen consequence of having a girlfriend you might have to lower your expectations. Expect disappointment and you will never be disappointed. Um, let, let's circle back to physical. I think this is a very, very key thing. Once the relationship starts to progress, there comes to a point where said girl friend or you decide to do this thing called living together where one person might move in with the other or another, you both might decide to move in to a new place. But what the important part is, is that you're deciding to do it together, right? And so, there are certain things about life that are unavoidable. You have to eat, you have to, sleep. And going back to the physical trait, there is a key thing that you might be unfamiliar with when it comes to girlfriends. Uh, much like how if they do not receive cuddles uh, on the dot every 20 minutes, they are going to activate this sort of illogical sassiness. I, I refer to it as sass, right? Uh, colloquially, I think people refer to it as anger, but sleep, what am I talking about? Sleep, you might be asking, Professor Lando, don't, sleep is simple, you simply sleep. Oh, no, no. Doesn't matter what time it is. It's 7 p.m. Bedtime. I'm on the, I'm with the boys, I'm, huh? Bedtime, 7 p.m. I don't care. I don't care if it was 4 p.m. in the afternoon. It's time for bed. Okay, well, you go to bed then. No, that's not how it works. That might you in the chat who have, who have been blessed with, some would say, freedom. It means that it's time for both of you to go to bed. Yeah. Doesn't matter what time it is. Time for bed. Okay, you know what? Okay, let's go to bed. You know, you know, actually, you know, yeah, you know what? Actually, that, that might sound fine. That actually sounds fine. Let's do it. Let's go to bed. I can, you know, relax. We can watch a movie together. We can talk about our day. We can, you know, because at the end of it, I do enjoy spending time with my girlfriend. That might be what you're thinking. Oh, bedtime, you know, before we fall asleep, we can kind of, she's asleep in two minutes and you're, you're stuck there for hours with your thoughts wide awake 
like some sort of like CIA torture. You're, you're like strapped in the bed. And that's the other thing. This is, you, you might be, let, let me draw, let me, let me draw a diagram. You know, if you're going to this, there, you talk about technique, 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 technique. There is a technique with any sort of physical activity, whether it's a sport or a hobby or anything. Even something as, there's technique in standing, right? You don't stand like this. You don't, well, I know you do, but you don't sit like, you know, there's even something as simple as standing, you're supposed to stand a certain way, sit a certain way. You know, you eat, you don't eat with your hand, you know, there's a certain way to eat, right? Okay. Sleeping there, when it comes to having a girlfriend, there is a sort of, oh, actually, I was going to draw the bed, but in most situations, in, in most situations, so this is the bed, okay. This is the bed. And you're like, wait, Professor Lando, that does not look like a bed. Yes, you would be correct. When you don't have a girlfriend, your bed might as well be like this. This is what it feels like. That's you without a girlfriend. Uh, when you acquire a girlfriend, your bed somehow turns into this, right? And the proper, the proper technique, we'll do a little zoom in, a little magnifying glass, is there's a lot of, a, a lot, there, there are many, there are multiple variants, much like Loki, there are, there's multiple ways to, to assume the position, but, but generally it's this, it's, it's either this arm, this arm, depends, you know, preference. It's, it's here, right? There is this crook here, right? And, the, the position is for the girlfriend to be, and you're like, whoa, that's close. That's, that's, that's kind of close, you know, like, I, you know, every night? Like, you know, like, you know, I get it. We've been to, you know, four years later, every night we have to be like, like this, like this. Yes, yes. And yes. You ever seen One Piece? Every, every you're going to be, you're going to be like Luffy. You're like, <laughs> you're not, you're going to be surprised how much arm, armage. And... Again, somehow, usually, you, usually, you know, uh, the girlfriend is smaller than the counterpart, usually, but somehow able to take up. This is your bed. This, this is this is a good, this is a graphical interpretation of uh, what bed space is allotted per person. Um, as you can see by the key here, GF standing for girl for the end is the red. And you might not be able to see it. You might not be able to see it, but right here, right. In fact, hold on. Let me let me do this real quick. Uh, I can't, I can't zoom in, but right here, right here is your space. I know, I know. You're six foot and, you know, she's like two foot 11, but, you know, she's got to somehow like, I don't know. It's like, it's like Slender Man. Somehow their, their arms and their legs are able to take up. They're like some kind of Salvador Dali creature. And meanwhile, you're supposed to, all, all while your arm is being stretched out, you're supposed to, you're supposed to somehow find the space for yourself. And again, you know, some of you, 
students are ahead of the curve, you might be thinking of what the obvious you might be thinking of what the obvious consequence is, is yes. Um, and you know, this is sort of embarrassing. We don't like to talk about this much. Um, but if you have a girlfriend, you know what the secret is. And I'm about to share it with you guys. If you do not have a girlfriend and you see someone with a girlfriend, everyone's arms, one of them at least you know is a fake arm. You've ever seen Full Metal Alchemist? You know how Ed has like the auto male arm? Prosthetics have come a long way. I know, it's very realistic. They can like attach the nerves to like mimic, but eventually the circulation's cut off. You know, like that movie with James Franco, 27 Hours, I think, where he, he like falls and the rock falls and he has to like, he uses a spoon, he has to like, you have to do that to escape. And everyone has done it like a trapped rat. And yeah, that's just something you don't know. And it's sort of embarrassing. If you see someone walking around with a girlfriend, they don't want other people to know that they are walking around with a fake arm, but it's just how it is, just how it is. Now, we, we talked about two key traits. There's a third. There's a third that might seemingly fit into one category or the other, but uh, Garbage Gang, thank you for three months. Thank you, thank you. We're gonna move on to a fairy very key part that you may not be able to uh, have any insight to otherwise. Physical, spiritual, the third category. Food. You like food? Not anymore you don't. So, what do I, what do I mean by food? Um, well, other than eating your girlfriend, or boyfriend, um, we're, we're referring to actual literal food. What do I mean by that? Well, first and foremost, let me walk you through it. So let's say you, without a girlfriend, right? People, uh, and again, I'm referring to you, um, that do not have a girlfriend. And I, I, you know, I, again, I'm just speaking I'm making a lot of assumptions, but I imagine your day might be something like this. You're working, or it's a day off, you're playing games. Oh, I'm hungry. Oh, I'm hungry. Well, if I'm hungry, then I'm going to want to what? Eat food. Okay, hungry, next step, I want food, and what's the step after that? Get food. It's, an, it's simple, right? If you're, and again, many of you do this probably every day, it's not new. You had to get food yesterday, you had to get food the day before that, you'll have to get food tomorrow and the day after that until you die. It's not, it's, it's not complicated, right? For me, for example, oh, I'm hungry. I want food, okay. So that means I need to get food. Where? Uh, I want pho today, okay? I'll get, so, and then I go to pho and I get pho and I eat it. Now, here's where things get complicated. Something that shouldn't be complicated, not normally complicated process becomes the most convoluted Hammurabi's unciphered code. A girlfriend, the process might be this. You're, let's go eat, okay. Where do you wanna eat? That's the key, that is the question. That is what's gonna be on the exam. The question is, where do you wanna eat? Simple, if you're with the boys, yo, boys, where do you wanna eat? Whatever, all right, does this sound good? Yeah, sure, eat. Girlfriend. You know, you're driving. What do you wanna eat? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you had all you had all day to think about it. You did it yesterday. You you know we're gonna eat. We do it every day. Every day. 
I don't know. Okay, well, you know what? And this is where, you know, I know you students, you're, you know, you're studious, you're, you're in my class, you're ahead of the curve. You, you're your problem solvers, right? You think you're a problem solver, so you go, okay, you know what, that's okay. It's okay that you don't know, why? Because I think I know. And so let me do this. Let me recommend option A. You wanna get pho? No. No. Not, not like a, well, well, you know, like I don't really know, like no. No pho. Okay, well, you wanna get noodles? You wanna get ramen? No. 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 Uh, okay, well, uh, you wanna get, uh, you wanna get sushi? No. We had sushi yesterday. Well, I mean, you know, I don't know. Okay. I can eat the, I can eat, you know, I can eat the, some of you guys, I know without a girlfriend, I assume many of you eat at the same place often, right? Because we're not, we're not kings, we're not royalty that can afford to eat at a new place every single, we have 300 and, uh, we had over 300 places to choose from so that we, we never overlap once a month at the same place. But with a girlfriend, you can't eat at the same place more than once in a given allotted time. Who knows what the time period is? I don't know, I don't know. Sometimes it's, who knows? So, um, be prepared, have a battle plan. What I do, uh, my technique is to, in my head, it's about the freedom of choice, right? That's what life really is. They say when you're born, you know, like for example, like serial killers, you know, we punish serial killers, but there was some debate some time ago of like, is it really the serial killer's fault because like the way biology and genes work, were they born with that hard wiring to begin with, right? And also they can't control the circumstances and parents that they get, right? So how much at fault is anyone for their actions, both good or bad either way, right? So this is what I do, I you present if you ever find yourself in this situation with a girlfriend, you, you want to do this. Present to them the illusion of choice. Say, this is what I do. Do you want to eat at pho or sushi? You give them, right? This doesn't cut it. I don't know. What do you mean? Two options. You pick one. Pick two. It's just flip a coin if you have to. Flip, flip a coin. There's just two options. You can pick, right? Don't give them like, where do you want to eat? It's too, it's too, they're like, I, uh, oh, 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 too much, too much. They're thinking about Loki and, and like Tom Holland and whatever the stupid thing they're thinking about. I don't know. They're, they're, they're uh, but if you just narrow it down to two options, right? In fact, this can apply to more things than food, right? Ah, yes, Kennykins, they, you might be, you might, you might have a Keter class girlfriend who hits you with the answer, I don't want either of those things. <sighs> you know, in that case, what I, what, what life is, is problem solving, right? Problem solving. And, and, uh, I, I think what, what we try to, uh, convince ourselves of is that every problem can be solved but sometimes you just take your l you just take you know l plus ratio and you know what this is just i just lost you can't win every game some nights you just cross your fingers and hope that the next time it'll work you know all you can do is do the the meta right the girlfriend meta You know, the, you want to start bow, right? Doesn't mean that starting bow every single time works out, right? But there is a meta for a reason. You give them the two options, you know, and you just hope that over time that it, the, the success rate leans in your favor.
We're not done with this category. Fiery Beef, thank you so much. I'm sorry if I'm missing people's subs and stuff. Uh, when I give the lectures, you know, I get into it. Uh, we don't always do a lecture in class, so um, I'm sorry. I'll try, I'll try to catch up after, after class is over. But thank you to everyone that subbed. Um, it's not over yet, food! It's not over yet. Classic scenario. Again, I think the best thing I could do is present scenarios. Let's say somehow you have, you have gotten over this massive first step, this massive hurdle of figuring out where to go eat. Well, here is a classic scenario that I need you to prepare yourself for in case you ever encounter this in the wild. Let's say in and out not for any particular reason, not for any particular reason, but let's just say in and out, right? Go eat in and out. All right, I'll have a double double with fries. Okay, uh, anything for you? Yeah, I want, I'll have a double double. Dun dun. You don't, you don't want fries? This is the moment. This is the moment. You need to be. You need to be as prepared. You know, it comes fast. You you're not you're unprepared for it. You might you might get sideswiped. You don't know what's going on. But you need to you need to be prepared for this scenario. Okay, the I don't I there's I don't know and also also very commonly and again this refers to more things than food. I don't want. I don't want any fries. I don't know what I want to eat. I don't know. I don't want any fries. No, they know exactly what they want to eat and they definitely want some fries. And this is, this might be, let's, let's turn it over. Let's turn it, let's flip the switch. Let's flip the script. If our, if any girlfriends are watching right now, just order your fries. It's a dollar. If even a dollar, something is less than a dollar. I would rather, I would rather pay more to get extra fries that we don't even eat a single fry than for you to have even one of mine. I would pay more. Just let me pay. It's just fries. It's like 75 cents, a dollar more. You get and you know what? If you don't want to eat it, that's fine. I will incur that cost. This is game theory here. I'm working it out. Checkmate from the beginning. I have to play 4D chess in my head to keep up with this. These are my fries. Get your own fucking fries. Right? Same thing with anything. Movie theater. Uh, I'm going to get a Slurpee. You want a Slurpee? No, I don't want a Slurpee. You don't want a Slurpee. You're not going to have a single sip of Slurpee because I would rather pay $10 for a gigantic second Slurpee for you to take one single sip out of than for you to have a single sip of the Slurpee I got for myself. Uh-huh. Now, you might be asking yourself, Professor Lando, like talks about bussy and which Pokemon he'd fuck. How does he qualify? How does he qualify to be talking about such a topic with such gravitas? Well. I have, I would not purport myself to be the most experienced when I do have experience. Keter class. Keter class. I have been 
somewhat fortunate in some ways, in some, some POV, some angle, fortunate to have someone that I call my girlfriend. Okay. Class, you can refer to her as Well, I mean, everyone can call her this, but she's, she's my little Care Bear, all right? I will proceed to draw a diagram. I need a new spot for this. Ugh. my little Care Bear. It's a diagram. Okay. This is, this is this, this, this visage, this, this, this bear suit is, is her protective layer. And as you can see, both angry and yet sad at the same time. Girlfriends have, been, have somehow found a way to be angry and sad at the same time. I don't know. This here, right here, that's mine. Those are my snacks. Right. Right there. Those are my snacks. Let me, let me, let me, let's, let's say you share a space with someone. Right. Let's say you share, a, you know, a kitchen, whatever, roommates, everyone's been to college or, or or has lived with other people, brothers, siblings, whatnot. Let's say there's, you know, you get something and it's not necessarily yours, you know, it's a big box of like choco pies. Not for any particular reason, but let's say they're choco pies, which is like this chocolate pie, moon pie thing with like marshmallow filling. There's like 12 in a box. And it's like, hey, I got these, you know, this is, I didn't, you know, again, I didn't say it's mine to be like, fair, okay. I got these choco pies. All right, I'm gonna put them in the pantry. If you wanted a choco pie, you eat one, right? But there's this unspoken, you know, you always have your finger on the pulse of like, like I don't wanna eat the last one, you know, or like, did everyone have some? I don't want people to be like angry at me. You know, this is again, like game theory, societal, like early human civilizations were based on who could, the relationships between um, each other. Like we keep track in our head of like positive and negative of, of people and the way societies grew as a whole, communities were able to advance is because this dynamic between one person and another, you keep track. Um, leads you to not want to upset others to get in negative favor with them. There's like, there's like a balance between um, your own selfish needs, your own wants, right? To get yourself further ahead in the pack, but being able to maintain a relationship within the commune in order to, and that's how society built up. Let's say there's 12 in a box. The Care Bear eats one and then a second one, and then a third one. There's only two people eating these. It's either me or her. Uh, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. You would think at the last, at the last sum, you would be like, oh, I've eaten all of them. Let me just save some. Let me just save some. Just one, just one. You've eaten 11 out of 12 of them. You've eaten 11 out of 12 of these choco pies and you can't just save one. Not for a second in your head, you go, oh, maybe Lando will want one. I've eaten 11 of 12. There's no one else eating any. Just one. Nope. None for Lando. 
none for Lando. Secret stash, see that, that that's one thing. That's one thing, yes. It's been, it's been brought up many times that you should have a safe. I've had people legitimately tell me that. They said, legit, you should have a safe. What the fuck? What am I? A James Bond villain? I should not need a safe to have one choco pie. <laughs> I shouldn't need to have a secret. What? What am I? Gollum? Hello? Just one? That's on me, I guess. I guess. It, and, that, and that's the other key thing about a girlfriend is, yes, you know what? She had no regard, ate all 12 out of 12 choco pies, but it's, it's, it's on me. Lando, you should have. Yes, and that's a key thing. If you're gonna have a girlfriend, be prepared for that. Be prepared for that. So my Care Bear, we met. Well, let's talk about it. Again, I, I, got, a little, I got a little sidetrack. But I, I guess let's talk about it. Why am I so qualified? Well, you know, I have ample experience. Where did I meet? Or let's just talk about my Care Bear. Carol. This is me and my Care Bear, my girlfriend. Uh, I'm on, I'm on the left and Carol's on the right. We've been dating for over four years. Five years soon, in the springtime. And that's us. That's us. And I guess this is, this is, this is your introduction class. Yes, professor does have a life outside of the lectures. It's true. It's true. You know what? We all have lives outside. You know, I'm, I'm studying the bussy on, on campus for research purposes, but you know what? After lecture, after class, I have a life outside and this is my, my Care Bear. Uh, in chat, I believe her username is Carol Yuka. So, the cat's out of the bag. We've been a little hesitant in sharing. Uh, I don't know why, you know, things were crazy when the lectures first started to gain traction, we weren't sure exactly how to handle, you know, we were like, maybe it'd just be for the better to not be so, but you know what? There's a lot of good, there's a lot of bad, of course, but, but I could not be teaching without my Care Bear's help. She's been integral to the success of Ligma University, and I can't tell you how much she helps me out, so I want to just you know, introduce you guys to her. So the question is, how did I meet? You know, some, that's the thing. A lot of you might be wondering, you know what? I hear you, Professor Lando. I hear you, but you know, I don't care. I don't care. I still want a girlfriend. How did you do it? Blah, how did you do it? Tell me. Well, I can't tell you how to get a girlfriend for yourself. Exactly. But what I can do is just share my own experience. So it's about four, almost five years ago. Uh, if some of you are unfamiliar, I, you know what cosplay is where you dress up as Chinese cartoon characters? I have a history with cosplay. I used to go to these things called anime conventions. I know, I know. So, we met, what I'm saying is yes, me and my girlfriend met through cosplay. Um, this is <laughs> me and my girlfriend. Uh, this is, we both really love Berserk and we both really love Bleach, very much so. So uh, I, was, I was wearing this costume, Berserk, Guts. The Black Swordsman. I don't know, is this, what is this armor card called? I, I forget what this, 
I don't know when he gets this armor, if it has like a name, but I, I wore this to a, a, a local convention and I was just wandering around and, and, oh, actually before this, there was a previous convention where me and, me and the boys, <laughs> woo, me and the boys went to an, uh, an anime convention. And I remember my boy going, yo, check out <laughs> these exact words. I remember it very well. Check out that nidalee with the badonk is the exact wording. And I turn and look. In fact, there was this cosplayer cosplaying nidalee from League of Legends. And I can confirm the words of my friend at that time. She did, in fact, have a badonk. I do recall. And I was dressed as this. I was dressed as this. I was wearing the berserk at that time. And then in a future... And then I got a message on an old website that is... Lost in time, it used to be home to, to Onceler fandoms and stuff called Tumblr, where I got, I used to have something, uh, you would say a, an account on this website, not anymore because they banned pornography, but um, I got a message on Tumblr saying, hey, I, I saw your cosplay, I like Berserk, I like your cosplay, I was like, thank you. Fast forward another convention. I'm wearing the same cosplay there because I'm a, I'm, I don't, I'm a loser. And someone goes, hey, hey, excuse me. You know, I like your cosplay. I am the, I messaged you. Or no, I said, you're the person that messaged me, right? She's like, yes, I did. And you know, because if you like anime and you cosplay, you're a fucking loser. So I had no one to hang out with. I was there alone. How sad is that? She was like, yeah, you can hang out with us her and her friends. And so I was like, sure, I'll tag along. We hung out. And then we said, okay, you know what? And she was like, do you want to, do you want to cosplay together? I'll be Casca and you can be Guts, which are these two characters here. And we'll shoot some pictures. And I said, that sounds fun. Not dating at this time. Even here, even here, me as uh, Urahara and, and, and her as Yoruichi from Bleach, we did this. We were not dating here. In fact, it was years after this, years after this, that she, she asked me out. And another thing, another thing, I am not saying I have ample experience with, with, with girls, but one thing I really appreciated was once, very rare occasion, I met a girl that's just very straight up. Hey, I like you. Do you want to date? What? A girl that says what she's thinking? My God. What a rare specimen. Oh, I don't know. Let me just lead you on or I, I love you. No, I can't say that. I don't love you. You love me? Oh, haha, that's cool. Oh, you want to like me? I very much like that. Very much like that about her. And we started dating years after, years after. Uh, we were very much friends beforehand for years. Didn't, it, it, I don't know, I don't know. I guess, that, I think that's kind of a rare case usually. But, but yes, that is, that is how we met. Well, I think I, we're, we're nearing the end of our lecture, but so far I have simply described, I have simply described what a girlfriend is, what a girlfriend does. Now, I think the ultimate question is Twitch chat, you know, coming from some guy named like, um, <laughs> you know, I don't know, like, it's like, you know, I, I'm trying to think of a name, you know, I'll just look, I'll just look. Okay, sorry, I don't mean this in a bad way, don't feel bad, but when QB Goku says, I don't have a girlfriend, I go, hmm, that's surprising. <laughs> I'm sorry to pick on you, but you know, right? Or, or how about this? When PP Man 666 says, oh, I don't, how, how do I get a girlfriend? You know, I'm like, I see some, you know, there's some groundwork. There's some groundwork to be, to be, to be, uh, to be made, to be set. I, I've been through breakups. I've been through, I think, what most mainstream people would consider like the ins and outs of a relationship. 
there's been people in longer relationships, whatever. But, you know, I've kind of been, I have a, I have my own understanding. Um, and, you know, people come into the chat sometimes and say, Professor, I, I just, my girlfriend dumped me or we broke up. And I'm like playing Apex Legends. I'm like, oh man, that sucks. I'm not a therapist, but, but let me just, I'll, you know what? I will speak about that for a second. Um, relationships, like when it comes to breakups, Literally, the only thing is time. There's no, there's no answer. You just got to wait it out. You just got to tough it out. Remember, this is where it comes full, what? Full circle. I talked about in the beginning of lecture, what is the word I said in Korean? Does anyone remember what I said? Chamo, chamo. You remember what I said it means? You know, you just, there's no like, like, oh, you can work it out or like what? You just, you just take it. You just, you just use harden, right? Or like, like, you just, you, it sucks, you just take it, it sucks, and, but that's just what you got to do, you just wait, you just got to take it, and it gets better, I swear it does, I swear it does, all you can do is just, just play some games or something, just try to, if you have some, if you have anything resembling the boys, go hang out with them, if you don't have that, <laughs> I guess you can go to your favorite Twitch streamer while they're playing Apex Legends and Trauma Dump. That, that might also be an option. I'm not saying it's the best option, but they might have something to say, you know. But I also want to say, a lot of people say, I can't, I have a lot of friends, me personally, that like want to have a girlfriend or they're struggling or something. They're like, man, I don't know. Like, I just, I, I hear, like, not this specifically, but this general sentiment. Man, like I just can't find anyone that want, that like loves me for who I am. Maybe because who you are kind of fucking sucks. Have you thought just taking a step, you know, taking a step and looked at yourself? I've had I've had many oh many friends say to me, "Yeah, you know, I know I have some like my own bad things going on, but I don't know, like I'm pretty cute and like I'm not that bad. I'm, and in my head I'm like, you're not cute at all. What is, what kind of Marvel multiverse is going on in your head, you know? So, right, there, there's like, there's the more complicated stuff, right? And you know, if, if at your core, listen, this is a safe space. If at your core, you're a little bit of a loser, that's okay. That is okay. That is okay. You don't have to be some sort of Sigma male Giga Chad. But let me say this. I, again, I'm not going to say who, I don't know. There's a lot of people like, I'm just trying to find someone. Just, just, let's just, again, there's like very complicated stuff with like, I, I need, I need a better solution. I need some sort of holder for this. Maybe I should get like a, like a samurai sword. <laughs> uh, anyways, what was I saying? Um, you, right, like forget like the complicated parts of a relationship, like being able to parse out happiness and how much work you put in, that, that, that. They're all like obsessed with that and like love. Maybe you should just start with the basics, like get a fucking haircut, okay? You don't have to become this ultra chiseled giga chad, but just work out like a little bit. Just go for a fucking walk, you know? Just like a little bit, just, just, just like a little bit. Get a fucking haircut, right? Just, you can, you can just start off with, you know, just baby steps, right? They're, they're the most, they're the most, yeah. I don't know why I can't just find someone to love me for who I am. Ah, uh, no, ah, Jabba, ah, ah, Han Solo, Kala, ah, ah. They're like a Jabba the Hutt-esque creature. Ah, you know, 
Just baby steps, you know, instead of five hours of League of Legends a day, how about four, right? And then you get a four and then three, right? And then two, and maybe it's every other day, right? It's okay, you don't have to go to zero. It's just, you know, let's, let's, just, let's just like, let's take some little baby steps, right? You know? And then, you know, you're still like, at, again, at your core, a loser, but at least now you're a loser with like, that's not as not such a fat fuck and like with a, like a little better haircut and your odds are infinitely better than where you were starting out, trust me. Or have a huge cock, either one of those options. The second option is usually a harder to come by option. And that is the end of lecture. Thank you for coming to class. I hope you learned something. And uh, this was actually our last lecture of the year. Uh, not our last stream, not our last stream, but our last lecture. Uh, we'll be streaming for the rest of the year. I don't really know. And, uh, but in terms of actual lecture material, this is the last class of the year. So thank you. Um, this has been a very, probably the craziest year of my life, um, teaching you students. I don't want to get too sentimental, so fuck you. But that being said, I do appreciate all the students that have made 2021 classes very, very action-packed. And it's given me... Uh, I, again, I know, I'm sorry if this is a story you've all heard, and this is a kind of a cringe story, but I shared this story on the Disguised Toast uh, little podcast thing, and people said they really liked it, so I'll just share it one last time. Before I became a teacher, I had a lot of different things I was trying out. I wanted to be a quote-unquote content creator for uh, like about seven years, and this is where we get a little sad. And you know, this is when I talk about at our core, we're all just losers. There might be a veneer over it, but every year on my birthday, for the past seven years, every year I blow up my candles and I thought to myself, I wish to make it as a content creator. That's been my wish every year for the past seven years. This year, this past August was my birthday. This was the first year I did not make that wish because I had given up. I'd given up completely wholeheartedly. I was applying, I was applying to boba shops. Okay, last job I had was at a grocery store. I gave up, I gave up. I said, fuck it. This, I wished for like, I don't even know. I don't even know what I wished for. I think I wished for like, I don't even know, to be happy or some bullshit. I don't fucking know, can you imagine? <laughs> Not me, but I said one last time, one last thing. I was literally down to my last like $300, $500 in my bank account, hanging on. Not to say I was gonna be out in the street. You know, I had family and stuff. People would have taken care of me, but I was like, you know, let's try one last thing. Let me just try one last time. True story, I gave it one last shot. My birthday was in August, and if you remember, classes started September. It was that period from August, September, October, and now we're here. So I'm, that's the last time I'm gonna tell that story. It's kind of cringe, kind of kind of sad, but, but I just wanna say thanks for tuning into the, to the lectures. Um, is this how teachers feel? <laughs> not that I'm not a teacher, but is this how teachers feel when the end of the year comes on, end of the semester? I wonder, like, the, I wonder, maybe. Wow, Lychee with the five gifted, thank you. Thank you, thank you for the five gifted. I'm sorry, did I miss any, I'm sorry if I missed anyone's sub. Mastastic for the two months, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. I, I'm sorry, I'm, I, I know I must have. Steven Machine, thank you for the prime. I, I must have missed someone, I'm so sorry. You know, when I'm doing the lectures. Um, I, I, I miss stuff. I'm so sorry. We're getting new emotes. We are getting new emotes. Oh, my fucking God. 
I throw out my back. Bah. Picking up this shit. Dead monkey. Oh, five, five gifted. Thank you so much. Uh, All Thork Almighty. Thank you so much for the prime. Um, so yeah. I don't know when the next lecture will be. Next year, probably. Um, and I'll be streaming, of course, uh, here and there. But January 8th, we are expanding Ligma University. And it's going to be a fun time. Um, I'll give you ample reminders for that. Also, uh, Scrappy Wheels, thank you for the Prime. Literal Catman, two months with the Prime, thank you. Uh, Hatterene, thank you for the Prime, two months. Um, guys. Guys, I'm giving up on the Nuzlocke. Uh, I don't have it in me. I'm, I'm, I'm giving up. The Nuzlocke is, I, after that Team Galactic bitch's skunk tank killed five of my, I just, it's so early. <gasps> I'm fucked. How am I supposed to go on when my, my starter is gone? I don't even, I have two badges. What am I supposed to do? Maybe, we'll see. I'll think about it. We'll, we'll think about it. Ooh, sorry, that, that must have been loud. Speaking of Pokemon, though. Hold on, my autofocus is fucking up because I got a fucking... Hey, did you miss Pokemon Nuzlocke? Professor, what are you talking about? If you don't know what I'm talking about, um, you can go ahead and use the command YouTube 2, number 2 that is, and uh, we uploaded the first part of our Pokemon Nuzlocke challenge to the second channel. If you're, you know, if you think, man, those lectures are not enough to wet my Professor Lando palette. I need more. I need more. Well, you can, you can get more at our second channel. Fuck that bitch is gun tank. Speaking of Pokemon. Speaking of Pokemon. Speaking of being a loser. Ah, what do we have here? I ordered these. These are the new set of Pokemon cards. VMAX. VMAX. Focus. Focus, you fucking bitch. Focus! New set from Japan. VMAX Climax. What are we going to do? We are going to do... Three predictions. Channel points. Uh, here on my day is going... It's going better than it has been. Um, 11 packs. The chase cards, okay? Will I pull a chase card? What is a chase card? We're talking about the cards, okay? Let me just... Just so there's not any... Any doubting. I'm going to lay it out very clearly what the chase cards are right now. We're talking about a banger. Not just any VMAX. Ah, oh, there's so much. I can't just like say them all. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pull one over you, okay? Like, I know, I, I know a chase card when I see it, right? I'm not gonna like pull one over you. Okay, it's the secret rares. Hold on, wait. Don't take that yet. Hold on. Vmax climax. Yes, secret rare. Ah, uh, super rare? Hmm. No, no. Oh, actually, well, there, there's, oh, there's very low chance we're going to get a secret rare. Uh, hey, hold on, hold on. Woo, okay, okay. This is what we're talking about, okay? These right here, ultra rare, they're gold, okay? Ultra rare gold. 
that counts. And the secret rares. The secret rares are these trainer cards, okay? These special, and, and you know, we'll know because it says it on it. it. It'll say like SR. Or I'm also including these, okay? The super rares, okay? Which are like these, you know, like V Max Pokemon, like this Gigantichu. I know you can't see it, but I'm just laying it out now so I can't, I'm not dealing with any bullshit, okay? Or the character rares. Okay, and the character rares are like, for example, there's a, there's a Charizard with the trainer. Okay, I know that sounds like a lot of cards, but this is, our chances are really low. Okay, so I'm laying it out now. It's either a character rare, the super rare, the secret rare, or the ultra rare. Okay. I, I, like the, I, I like the character rares as well. So predict now, will I pull a chase card in this pack? There are 11 booster packs, okay? We're gonna do three of these predictions. We're doing the first one right now. I'm very excited for this. I've been waiting for these packs to come. It's sealed, okay? I'm not bullshitting you. I'm not gonna pull, focus, focus, focus. It's sealed, it has plastic on it, okay? Like, yeah, yeah, see? It's sealed. I'm not pulling a fast one on you. All right. Uh, the Eggnerol. Thank you for the Prime. Three month sus anniversary. Welcome back. I'm, I'm opening it now. Go ahead and bet your points. This will be your last chance to bet this year. This will be your last chance to bet this year. How do we, I know the camera's kind of weird, but this camera's better than my last camera, right, right chat? This one's better, right? It, it looks better, it looks better. I'll, I'll have to figure out. Plastic coming off. There it is. 11 packs. I think Japanese packs have less cards. Japanese packs definitely have less cards than, um, than the English packs. Okay. I don't know what better way to do it than, than to just, I know this is kind of sus, but we're going to do it like this. Okay. I'm just gonna have to hold it out in front of you. Are the predictions in? I gotta see this. Where's the prediction? Where's the prediction? I wanna see. Okay. Ooh! <laughs> Uh-oh. 47% of you think I'm gonna pull this. Kind of annoying. I think I might get my scissors. Okay. So. Okay. No, I. Th Never mind. I thought like with the. There's. I don't know if there's less cards. I don't know if there's less cards. All right. This is. This is the only way we're gonna. I know this is kind of scuffed, but. Spinarak. Um. But. I don't know. I I play. I've been playing Pokemon Shield. I forget. What is that? What the? F I've never. I've never seen this. I've never seen this Pokemon. You know what? I'm doing manual. Hold on. I've never seen this Pokemon in my life. Stole Journer? You kidding me? What is this? Steel? Normal energy? Nessa? Nice. A wrench. Houndoom! Oh, feels bad. 
if you've been watching the Nuzlocke, how many is left? Okay, there's still how many cards? Three cards, I think. The fuck is this? Some flower? What is this? Is this mole trace? I don't think. No, this is not. This is not one of them. You know what? I should have. I should have the list in front of me. Hold on. I don't want to. Let me open up the list. There's still one more card back here. There's still a chance. Hold on. I want to pull up this list. So. Oh wait. No. It says. It says right. No. This is double rare. No. I don't need the list. It says at the bottom. Um, you can't see it, but there's there's a symbol. This is a double rare. All right. Here's the last one. Fuck. The fuck is this? The fucking dog. Are you kidding me? What is this? All right. I'm going to do I'm going to go through this quickly. Dark energy, Galarian Mr. Mime, Flareon. The same doggo. Curlia, Krillia. Ooh, some hot milf. Bug catching net. Urshifu? No, no, this is the panda. What is this? Panda. Panda. I don't know. It's it's the panda one. Dustclops. No, oh, oh! Double rare. Double. Pretty. That's a good card. That's a nice card. Double rare Pikachu. Oh, this is it. Get fucked. Get fucked, doubters. This is a character rare. This is Vaporeon and Gary. Get fucked. Who? Oh, oh. Who? This carry look, it says character rare. Get fucked. Let's fucking go. Oh. Oh. Get fucked outers. Pay out the believers. We got the chase car. We got a character rare. Fucking easy. Character rare. Vaporeon and Gary. I gotta sleeve this bad boy. Oh fuck, am I out of sleeves? No way I'm out of sleeves. Nope. Hoo wee! Heh heh heh. Heh heh heh. Heh heh heh. Heh heh heh. Get fucked. <laughs> Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Not like the not like the the best best. Not like the best best, but Oh, are you are, uh, oh, uh, p -p 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 My camera. My camera. Please no. Don't do it like don't do me like this. Don't don't do me like this, camera. Don't do me like this. Don't. Don't do me like this. Don't. Bring me back to life. Bring me back to life. There we go. There we go. We got it. We got it. Character rare. Vaporeon and Gary. Get fucked, doubters. Okay, well, wow, wow. On the second pack, on the second pack, I got a lot of packs to go. Look how many, look how many we have to go. Okay, um, don't do the next pull yet. I'm just, I'm gonna speed run these, okay? I'm gonna speed run these. Believers, we got paid out already. So anything after this is just bonus for this this box. All right. So I'm just gonna do this quickly. In fact, I'm just gonna pan it. What is this? Blissey, Blissey V, nice. I'm not even gonna look at these. Oh, we got the same. We got the same Hound Doom and cast form. No, is is this Urshifu? I don't know. I don't know if that's Urshifu or not. Okay. 
Woo-wee, things are looking up, baby. All right, we'll do this quickly, I promise, I promise. All right, next pack, next pack, let's do it. Right, it's a Vaporeon, okay. Wait, what the fuck is this? What? What? Triple rare. Triple rare. What is this? Is this the Urshifu thing? I don't even know. What is this Pokemon? Gigantamax? Water style Urshifu, huh? Triple rare? I don't know if it's possible to get more than one. Um, like if you're unfamiliar, like the way rates work, like I know with like Vice Force is like, if you get like an SP, your the chances to get another one in that box are kind of like squashed. I don't know if Pokemon works that way. So I don't know if it's possible to get another. Ah, looking mighty breedable there, Sylveon. Double rare, okay. Oh, what's this? Okay, again, we're going through these quickly so I can get to the next box and we can do another prediction. We're starting off strong though. We're starting off strong. Oh! Oh! No fucking way! I've... Blaziken! Blaziken! I fucking love Blaziken! That's fucking hot as fu uh, That's cool as... That's... That's so cool. <clears throat> I love me some Blaziken. Very nice. Sheesh. Okay, so we're looking for the character rares, which are CHR, that's the Vaporeon. Character super rares, which is CSR, character super rare. And then the secret rares, which are the character cards, or the ultra rares, which are the gold cards. Okay. Okay, so stuff like this, I mean, stuff like this is like, aside from like the really good ones are probably the best runner up, but those don't really like count for like the big pog fucking pulls, you know what I mean? In fact, I don't know, again, since I already got it out of the box, I don't know if it's possible to pull something else that's like that pog from this. Unless we get a character rare right fucking now. Huh? No fucking way, dude. This shit's stacked. The Eevee. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, there's no fucking way. Okay, but the character rare is the least rare of the like big pog pulls, right? Gary and Bill, the poor on Eevee. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There's a lot, there's like, oh my God. Oh, 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 oh. Ah. What is this? Is this like a Galarian Articuno? And a Beedrill for good measure. Pretty sick, pretty sick. Wow, wow, two of those bad boys already, already. What the fuck is this? Oh, it's just a double rare, but Rayquaza is sick as heck. It's not the rarest card, but I'll take a, I'll take Rayquaza any day. Sheesh. Oh, this one's cool too. Check this out. This one's really cool. Hoopa. Hmm. 
Oh. Oh me, oh my. All right, there's there's two more left in here. We're gonna whip these out real quick. Hello? What the fuck? Yo, this is a good box. Holy shit. Holy, listen, chat. You've seen me open a lot of boxes here on stream. This box is like the best box we've ever fucking opened. Ever. Period. VMAX Rayquaza? Triple rare? Okay. Two Rayquazas in a row, huh? Oh my god. Ah, uh, it's a good day. It's a good day. Wow, that's a good box. Which means, hey, you guys should believe, right? We have two more predictions, two more boxes. There's gonna be a lot of believers, right? What is this? No fucking way! Or maybe the chances are way better than I thought. Character rare. It's a fucking character rare. Another one. Another one. Okay. Okay. You know what? We'll, we'll bump it up. We'll bump it up. We'll bump it up. We'll bump it up. Going forward, the character rares won't count because me pulling three does not seem right. You know what? We'll only do the character super rares, okay? The characters, and don't get me wrong, the character cards are like, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Like these are definitely a, among us, among the, like what you want to pull, right? The, the character ones that has like the character, the trainer. But, but you know what? I mean, I just pulled three. There's, you know, we'll do character super rare and up. Okay. On the next pull. Don't, no, no, I didn't scam you. We laid out the odds. We laid it out. Plain and simple from the beginning, okay? I said the character rares were included, but going forward, in this prediction, the character rares aren't included. We're doing character super rares and up, okay? There are 212 to 285, okay. So we're doing the character super rares and up, just to let you know, I did not pull a single character super rare. These are character rares. I did not pull a single super rare and up on this entire box. Just letting you know. So let's do another prediction. Okay. We're looking for the character super rares. The secret rares, which are the, like the full art of the trainers. Or, or the ultra rares, which are the gold cards. All right. Okay, let's let's do let's do another one. Again, just letting you know from that first box, the doubters would have won on that first pull. I dude, this VMAX Rayquaza though, this is my favorite one we got. I like that one a lot. Look at that one. Look how nice that is. I'm a big fan. That's a fucking that's a oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's a good one right there. Oh yeah, we're doing the secret rares and up. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm gonna I'm gonna pog out if I get a character rare, but chances are a little too good. Chances are a little too good. Now I'm a little worried. Actually, I'm a little worried now that we're bumping up the. Okay, so, I mean, shifting our perspective, we have one dud in, the, in that sense, in those terms. We have one, one box down. Yes, Maku Des, that's a good point. For each box, we don't get a super rare. Our chances only go up. You guys saw my video on trading cards, right? We have to do the auto focus, or no, we can't, we have to do the manual focus since I'm putting the cards up to the screen like this. 
Well, maybe not. Let me see. Should we just YOLO? Maybe we can. Nope, we can definitely not YOLO. Okay, first pack. Let's go. Let's go. Super earn up. Let's do it. Let's do it. How many believers? I, I assume significantly less believers. No, it's about half and half still. Okay. All right. Don't want to waste anyone's time, so let's just do it straight from the... Nope. Straight from the back. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. Don't get your hopes up, doubters. That's just one pack. We got 10 more to go. We got 10 more to go. Don't get smug about it. The fuck is that? Ha, ah, please. Triple rare, Sylveon. Actually, let me make it even more. Look at, look at that sassy Sylveon. What does that mouth do though? Yep, yep, yep. Okay, two packs down. Sylveon, nice card, but does not, it's not what we're looking for. Not what we're looking for. Okay. What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? But uh, Crobat, Crobat. No, no, no. Okay. Oh, Crobat. Oh, that Zapdos is pretty sick though, but not what we're looking for. Uh, 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 nope. What is this? Urshifu? Oh, this is a character rare. Not a character super rare, but that's a character rare. That's Pog. Pretty Pog. Not the super rare, though. Uh-oh, believers. Uh-oh. Don't worry. We got, like, more than half of the packs left. Dang, that was cool though. Another, uh, is this a character rare? It's another character rare. That's cute, that's a really cute one. That's a really cute one. That's, another, that's a character rare. But the question is, do, oh, what the fuck is this? What is this Pokemon? It's a triple rare. What is this? It's a nice triple rare card. It's like a puffy thing riding a pony. I'm getting a lot of this hound doom. Five packs left. Wait, that's two Pokemon? What? Oh, oh, spoilers, but ah, uh, da, ah, okay, that's all right. We got another one of those Pikachus. Pika P, I'll take a Pika P any day. Ah, ah, ah. Four packs. Damn, I've been waiting for this for a very long time, chat. I spent, I spent, I spent a lot of money. I spent a lot of money on these fucking cards. If I don't get a super rare, I'm going to be pissed. What the f- Ah, uh, 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 we got that already. We got that already. Ooh! But I'll- you know I'll take a Gardevoir any day, though. Got me acting up. <laughs> Look at this Electrode. He's like, Ugh! Ugh! Yeah, I'll take a Gardevoir. 
Another one of those Articunos, huh? Uh-oh, believers. We have three packs left. Three packs left, believers. Ha! 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 Oh, 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 what the fuck? Darulodon! <laughs> yeah, Gigantamax, Vmax, Darulodon, Triple Rare. Oh! That's a nice Charizard. And Snorlax. That's a, that's a really nice card, the Darulodon, but alas, not a super rare or what secret rare, what we're looking for. So we have two packs left for this box. No way I'm not, there's no way I spent this much money to get these imported and I'm not gonna get at least a super rare, Never mind a secret rare. There's no way. Wait. Wait. Do you know what that is? This is a character. Super rare. Get fucked. Right there. Right there. It says at the bottom. Right there. You see that? You see that? C S R S secret character secret rare. It's this one. We did it. We did it. We pulled it. We pulled it. Secret rare. Pay out the believers. Pay out for pay, do it. Pay the believers. We got the super rare. Oh, baby. You doubters, act you doubters actually thought, didn't you? You actually thought. Character super rare. Ice Rider Calyrex V Peony. I don't know what that means, but this is a this is a character super rare. Get fucked, doubters. Imagine doubting. I can't imagine. Who's doubting? Who is doubting? We got one last one just for funsies. N no, no way. And and just just a cherry on top. We land on a character rare. Why not? Just 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 a little cherry on top. Okay. Oh yes. The Chungachu! Yes, the Chungachu! Oh my god, what a way to end the box! The fucking Chungachu! Let's go! Oh my gosh, what a way to end it! Oh my goodness, that was a... That was a... Wow, getting the Chungachu at the end? Oh my god... Yep. <sighs> okay. Oh, I, uh, yes. One last one. Put in your points. You don't have a lot of time left. One last box. Do you believe? Place your bets. Super rare and up. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Do it! Oh, did you... Okay, did you make a new poll? This is a new one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little premature. Let, give people time. One last box. Will I get a super rare, a secret rare, or an ultra rare? So far, we've opened up two boxes and only gotten one super rare, which is... This one. What's it gonna be?
Do you believe in me pulling a card? Ah. Uh. Come on, come on. Have I, have I ever led you astray? Have I ever led you astray? Huh? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, chat, if I can get a, oh. If I can get a secret rare or an ultra rare, can you believe? You know what? You know what? You know what? We'll make it even spicier. Redo the prediction. Redo the prediction. I'm feeling confident. Redo the prediction. Cancel this one. Forget the super rares. Secret rare or up? Secret rare or ultra rare? Uh-huh. Redo the prediction. Redo the prediction. Secret rare or up? I feel real good about these. Secret rare or up? We got the super rare. Now it's, now it's only time. This is, this is it. 11 packs. There's a secret rare, ultra rare in here. And I believe it. You know why I believe? Because I have no other choice but to believe. What do I... How do you live your life? How do you wake up in the morning if you don't believe? Students, how do you get up? How do you even, how do you even open your eyes in the morning if you don't believe? That's what I thought. How do you even get out of bed? You know how I get up out of bed? I fucking believe. No super rares. Secret rare, which are the full art character trainer cards, or the ultra rares, which are like the gold, full gold cards. There's only uh, eight of these gold cards. And there is 22 of these secret rares. We have not pulled either yet. We haven't pulled either yet. Oh, I see. Yeah, doubters, you're too scared to doubt, huh? Uh, yep, yep. Ah, I see. Too scared. You know, you say copium, but put your money where your mouth is. If you if you think we're if you think we're 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 coping, then put your points where you do it. Doubt. Go all in on no, because the believers have spoken up and they believe. They believe secret rare or up. It doesn't smell like copium. I know the smell of copium it has a very distinct smell. And I, it's not here. It's not here. Let's do it. Let's do it. Focus, focus, you bitch. Focus, focus. Character rare. Character secret rare. Or super rare, sorry. Character super rare. Fuck, fuck, I shouldn't have changed it. I shouldn't have fucking changed it. Oh. Fuck! Okay, we got the super rare. We got the super rare. Okay. Damn it. Okay, we got the super rare at least. Fuck. Shit. Okay, okay. Can we get the secret rare there, though? Fuck. Okay, but that's nice. That's nice. That's nice. Not copium. We got a character rare and a character super rare in one booster pack. So I guess, 
Again, I'm not really sure how Pokemon works the way they do these. Because, again, like in Vice Schwartz, it's like, if you pull a super rare, the rest of that pack or box is like kind of like scuffed. You know what I mean? But I don't think Pokemon does it that way. Oh, I found a way to work with the autofocus. I just need to go off screen really quick. Ah, oh, 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 oh. oh, fuck. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. What is this? Oh, it's the same Pikachu we've gotten. Fuck. Fuck. Okay. That's okay. This vest is from Steady Hands. That's the name of the brand, Steady Hands. Like steady. You know, not like this, like steady hands. They have an Instagram page and a online store. I think it's steady-hands.com. Focus, you f okay. Ah. What the fuck is this? It's the same thing. What is this thing? What Pokemon? I'm playing Shield right now. I'm almost done with Shield. I haven't seen this, this Pokemon. Is this from Shield? Okay, triple rare, that's okay. I'll take it, I haven't pulled that yet. Come on, secret rare, baby, secret rare. It's what I'm, that's what, that's what I'm talking about, baby, woo! How many, how many of you are believers? Damn it. What the fuck? Huh? What? Is this not the same Pokemon? It's two different versions? That's a scam. I would know. Triple rares, okay. okay. Snow runt, are you kidding me? Ah, the crowbat. We are on our last five packs. Five packs, we're about halfway through. What is this? Character rare. That's pretty cool. Character rare. Oh, what the, f what is this? Never seen that Pokemon before. I'm, I'm playing through Pokemon Shield right now and I, I'm surprised how many Pokemon I still don't recognize. Uh, we are on our, this is our fourth to last pack. We have four more, including this one. Yes. Come on, baby. Fuck. I believe. <sighs> three more, three more, three more, three more. Three more, three more, three more, three more, three more, three more. There's no way. 
There's no way. Uh, well, a little spoiler, but I don't think that's... Fuck! The same Darulodon. Two more. Two more packs. Two more packs. And I've never believed more in my life. You like to, we got to keep them six, like victory tastes that much sweeter when the opposing side think that they've won. Come on, come, come on. Uh, character rare. Pretty cool, but not what we're looking for. Not what we're looking for. Got the character rare, but not what we're looking for. So. This is our last pack. This is it. I spent over $300 on these fucking cards. If I don't get a fucking secret rare, I'm gonna be fucking pissed. Do a little ritual, do a little ritual. Come on, come on, come on. You gotta do a little dance, all right? Come on, I feel it, I feel it. We'll do this one one at a time, okay? We'll do this one one at a time. Move out of here. Kakuna. Mr. Mime, I think. Spirit Tomb. Some fat fuck. Some kind of, I, I don't know. Focus energy. Oh no, Zapdos. Oh no. Oh no. There's it's there's one more card. There's one more card. There's one more card and I've never believed more in my fucking life. Damn it. No. It's a it's it's a character rare. Fuck! I can't even get it to. It doesn't even fucking matter. It's it's a it's a character rare. Fuck! All right, believers, we got to give the We got to give the believers we have to let them or sorry, we the doubters Fuck. You know, we got to give the doubters a win here and there or else the or else us believers would never get any points. But that's it. I mean, I only had three packs. Is that another pull? No, 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 no. That's it. That's it. That was it. Ah. Uh... <sighs> Dude, I didn't get a single secret rare, bro.
I'm not buying more. Uh, that's it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is that, is this a payout or? No, this is just the payout, right? Is this not another prediction? Okay, okay. Fuck. All right, well. Get some more for the funds, dude. I spent over three hundred dollars on these, and I didn't get it. I didn't get this. I didn't get the uh, secret rare. We got two secret uh, super rares. We got two super rares. Ay 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 Frick. Okay. Well. Ah, okay, well, I hope that this was an enjoyable stream either way class This was our last lecture of the year, but not our last stream. I hope that you will come join in uh, Whenever I go live follow me on Twitter or join the discord to see I do appreciate you guys homework I don't know. I don't I don't think I have any more homework for the year just simply because um, You know, it's gonna be holiday season and uh, whatnot but Homework, go get a girlfriend, take a shower, get a haircut, go hit the gym, right? <laughs> All right, students, that was a fun one. That was a fun one. That was great. That was great. I feel we got a little bit of, you know, stuff off our shoulders. You know, we didn't get the secret rare, but you know what? Got some, got some super rares at least. And we got, you know what? The fact that we got the Chonkachu, I'll take a Chonkachu any day. Um, you know, I got some goodies, not the best, not the best, not the worst though, not the worst. And I think that's a good philosophy for life. You know what? You might have a bad day. But it's not the worst day. Could be worse. Always could be. Okay. I'll catch you guys later. Ha happy holidays. Happy holidays. I don't know when the next time I'll be streaming is. I need to, I need to get a new camera. I, I, I need to get a new camera. I can't believe this one's dead. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hey, the art contest. All right, three more days. We haven't had that many submissions. I will stress again one more time. Your chances of winning some free merch are pretty good. All right. Join the art contest. I would love to see your drawings, please. Uh, hashtag GoCatBoys on Twitter. All right. Appreciate you guys.